Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu Fab, and today I'm going to be talking about silencers and suppressors. The debate continues, even though I'm just mentioning it on my website, I think, for the, or my account for the first time, I think. Um, this is something that always irritates me. You go into a gun store, or you're on the internet, and someone mentions a silencer, and then you get this guy who uh, says, it's not a silencer, it's a suppressor. It doesn't silence anything. More on that in a little bit. But um, it always irritated me. I always felt that it was very PC, that the um, um, gun community was getting very politically correct. I also felt that uh, it, this argument was being used by people who wanted to make themselves feel and sound more superior to the ignorant gun owners or people just getting into the sport of shooting. Um, you know, they, they, they were trying to build up um, their... Um, a persona as a gun expert. That's the that's the, how I always felt when I um, heard people say it's not a silence with a suppressor. Now uh, I'm going to attack the argument. Uh, it's not a silence with a suppressor. It doesn't silence anything in a couple of different ways. And at first, I want you to think uh, when it comes to uh, names and what it actually does. It's not always black and white. Now, uh, let's mention Greenland. And Iceland. Clearly, these two um, places have been switched at birth. Greenland is painfully obvious is not green. Iceland is very, very much green. I think we have the Vikings to uh, thank for that. But yes, the argument that, or the argument that it, we shouldn't call it a silencer because it doesn't silence the firearm, uh, it's not the best argument because Greenland isn't green, Iceland isn't ice. I think there is some uh, glaciers in uh, ice, uh, Iceland, but they're way up north. But for the most part, Greenland is a solid sheet of ice in general. It's, you know, Arctic. Um, and um, Greenland is very, very green uh, relative to Iceland. And I think if we as a people can go all over the world, show them a map and show them Iceland and Greenland, and they call it Iceland and Greenland, their legal names is Iceland and Greenland, um, their flags um, are associated with Iceland and Greenland, um, even though the names themselves are wrong, in their description, they are the legal names of those places, and that's what we recognize them at. And I don't hear anybody in geography class um, when they mention Iceland or Greenland, someone saying, well, it's not Iceland because uh, it's not icy. It's not Greenland because it's not green. We accepted the fact that the names are wrong, or they're, wrong, they're not the right description, but they're associated with those two places, and we just accept it. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Now, let's talk about definitions. I've looked on several different we uh, dictionaries online. Webster's Dictionary, Oxford's Dictionary, some high-name dictionaries. Dictionary.com, Google's dif di diction Dictionary. And they all have something really in common. Keep in mind the argument for not calling a silencer a silencer and to call it a suppressor is because it doesn't actually silence anything uh, that it suppresses the noise but if you look on the definitions of oxford um, webster's dictionary any of the dictionaries out there online and i'm going to paraphrase what they all say a silencer is a device uh, attached to a car or a small arm that deadens or muffles the sound uh, of that item. It deadens the, or muffles the sound of the report of a firearm. And keep in mind, a report of the firearm is different than the sound of the mechanism of, that the firearm makes. And I'll explain that a little bit later as well. But also in Britain, uh, I hear that they call uh, uh, buffalo silencers. And I, in fact, I think the guy that invented the silencer was affiliated with the muffler uh, uh, for vehicles. But uh, I wanted to throw that out there. If you go on Webster's Dictionary, if you go on Oxford's Dictionary, if you go on Dictionary.com, you look at the Dictionary um, app, 
If you go on Google's dictionary, they all say the same thing, that uh, a um, silencer is something that muffles or uh, quiets or deadens the sound of, of that particular uh, item that it's attached to. Now, I want to use this analogy. If you have a baby and it's crying in the middle, him, he or she is crying in the middle of the night, and you go to breastfeed it or feed it with a bottle, and the baby stops crying, you have effectively silenced that baby. It doesn't mean the baby is completely void of sound. You still get suckling sounds. There's probably some uh, vocalizations that the baby makes. Um, you know, it's breathing, so it's, it's making sounds with his lungs or his or her lungs. So just because you silence the baby, it doesn't mean the baby is completely void of noise or sound. Just like with a firearm, just because you silence a firearm, it doesn't mean that it's completely void of noise or sound. And keep in mind, the, all the silencer has to do to silence the firearm is to muffle the report. That is the explosion that happens in um, firearms. I know some people don't like to use that word in firearms, but that's effectively what it is. It's a rapid expansion of hot gases. It's an explosion. It muffles that sound. It doesn't have to muffle the sound of the slide, which is a completely different sound. And a lot of times when you do silence a 22 uh, shooting subsonic am ammunition, all you hear is the firearm mechanism. You don't even hear the report. So, um, Yes, I do believe it silences it. Now, lastly, keep in mind when it comes to silencers, the original patent for the silencer, when it was invented, it was patented as a silencer. So its legal name is a silencer. But what does the ATF think about silencers? By the way, I'm also going to add some pictures of the advertisements for silencers, the Maxim silencer. Um, but what does the ATF think? Well, if you go on the ATF website, they give a definition to a silencer, and they call it a silencer in that definition. So the only people who are calling the silencer a suppressor are the elitists who uh, try to make themselves seem more professional or knowledgeable by shooting down people who only know silencers from the movies and are trying to get interested in it. And I'm not saying that these people are a-holes. I'm just saying that's what they're doing. That's how it comes off when you do that. So I think we should stop calling them suppressors. For one, that's not its real name. It's not what it's uh, originally patented as. That's not what the original advertisements call it. Uh, and two, the definition for silencer does silence. The silencer does silence firearms. The silencer does silence mufflers on, or um, uh, vehicles. So by the definition, silencer is the most accurate thing you can call a suppressor, if you will. And I try to avoid using the word suppressor because not only is it wrong, I don't like being politically correct when it's not um, um, warranted. So yeah, I like to be as authentic as possible. If uh, if you're gonna call a um, a magazine, if you're gonna call a clip a clip, a magazine a magazine, call a silencer a silencer. And that's it. I hope you all have a great day. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.